Last season was magical, there's no doubt about that. I think everybody who was involved in that season is still kind of riding, uh, riding the high of the success that we had. Um, however, you know, as a team, we've talked about it, and that was the past, and we're all about the present, and we know that what we do um, today dictates our future, and um, you know, the girls know that they can't rest on what happened last year. Uh, we have something to prove. Uh, we want the conference to know that we are definitely a team that's here to stay. Um, and, uh, and that's, that's what we're focused on now and what we're working towards now is, is what we can do today and, and in the present. We have a great group of returners coming back. We have 16 returning players um, and they're led by our seven seniors. Um, these seniors have had a wealth of experience throughout, their, throughout their, the past three years and coming into their, their fourth year, they're determined, ready to go. Um, you, know, you, you have to mention Taylor Prilliman. She's been our leading scorer for probably the, since her freshman year. Um, she's going to be huge for us. Uh, another key player would be um, Caroline Fletcher playing our center mid, uh, holding down our transition game. Sarah Rozelle will be in the backfield. Um, she's such a dynamic defender, very hard to get past. And I mean, just, just all of them have really stepped up their game and um, are looking forward to, to proving what they can do on the field again this year. Uh, juniors and sophomore classes again. Um, you know, they keep gaining experience, they keep working hard, uh, you know, they have that senior, senior leadership, so they have people to look up to, which I think is great. Um, a lot of them will be competing to see playing time on that field. And the freshmen as well, we brought in seven freshmen and it's one of the strongest classes we've had. And they're looking great, they're blending well with our system and just continue to, to work hard in order to, to get that playing time so they get the experience so that next year they can kind of take over, take over this team. We spent a lot of times in team meetings uh, throughout preseason to talk about our goals and what our vision is for this team and what we could accomplish if we really set our hearts and minds to it. Uh, the first thing that comes out is that ODAC championship. Uh, the girls know it's going to be tough. Uh, you know, the conference is stacked this year. I think all the teams are, are definitely viable um, to compete for that championship. Uh, you know, our girls were focused on it. We were there last year. and. They definitely want to take that next step forward. So first and foremost, it's doing what we need to do in the regular season in order to be eligible to play for that championship. And then once we hit tournament time, doing what, taking care of business and getting to that championship game again. Uh, so that's kind of goal number one. Uh, we have a couple of losses from last year's schedule that still kind of burn deep in the girls' minds, uh, especially for the returners. And they want to either close the gap in the goal differential in those games or win those games.